Hey, almost happy new year. Look, a lot of people are sitting around right now and they're feeling like crap because they ate too much food. And I didn't fall into that trap this year. I'm really happy about that because I'm on this 21 day challenge. Um, and it's working really well for me. I lost like 12 pounds. So I'm really happy about that because that's one of my goals. But we're not gonna let that happen to us going into New Year's because this is what happens every day as people get into this, or every year they get in this trap thinking they're gonna set their goals on the first of the year. And that ain't gonna happen this year because I'm gonna have something called the Captain's Challenge. It's a 21 day challenge coming up. So I'd like you to be part of that. And it's just simply gonna be having a routine that's different than what you have right now. And my energy's going up, I'm losing weight, I'm feeling really good about where I'm at. I'm not a spring chicken. So for those of you who are spring chickens and you're letting that happen to you, you need to like wake up. And all the other people that are my age, wake up. Wake up. It's time to wake up. So now listen, I want to show you a couple of things. I got, this is what I got for Christmas. This is a nice little captain plaque. And I'm not sure where to stick it. I could stick it. I can't put it on my computer. I can't put it in the plaster. Or can I? Or anyway, I don't, my girlfriend got me that. And then my my son and his girlfriend got me this other captain thing it's kind of ironic don't you think i mean i i am a captain once you're a captain you're always a captain i just need some beer to open up i wonder if i can find any beer in bend oregon <laughs> And then I got this really cool book on where to go fishing in Oregon, and I need to do more of this. And my son and his girlfriend again got me that. And then I got this book. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, my girlfriend got me that. And then one last thing I want to show you this really cool. It's called a Buddha board. And my daughter got me this, and you got a little paintbrush. You paint on here, and then the whole concept is, is that that'll dry, and when it dries, it goes away. And it's just about being in the present moment. Isn't that cool? And it's sticking around there for now, but you can see it's starting to go away. So that's a really cool gift. So I got all these really, really cool little gifts. Anyway, so I want you to think about the 21 day challenge. You're not gonna let, you're not gonna fall into that. I'm heading to the gym right now. And it's all about getting a routine, a new routine going that we're going to have a change or a shift in our life. And you can do that. And it's don't wait for New Year's. Do not wait for New Year's. Start getting up early now. My challenge is going to be getting up at 5 o'clock every day. And that means you're going to have to go to bed earlier. And we're going to have a series called Making Bait. And we're going to make bait in the morning. We're going to get up early. We're going to have some coffee together. And we're going to make that happen. their feet on the vents. Okay, here's what we're going to do for lunch. Here's what I'm doing. I started doing a replacement drink. Uh, this is my girlfriend's stuff, Shakeology, but it's got a lot of really good stuff in it. So, Exactly, exactly how I do this. And hey, it's working. It's working for me. About a half cup of ice. 
using some almond milk, which is my fave. We got the frozen bananas, which are simply a must. These are the potassium you need. And you can put berries or fruit or whatever you want to put in there. And then I put in the one scoop of this stuff. Magic. Like I told you, one of the secret ingredients for this, I put some cinnamon in there. Because the cinnamon rocks it. Uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon or something like that. Some almonds. A little additional protein, gives it some flavor. But this is the deal. And I found out about this from a really good friend of mine. And you know what? It really makes a difference for, uh, gives it a real creamy flavor. And who would have thought in a million years? And the best thing about avocados is you can eat as many avocados as you want. And a little bit of flaxseed. It's got the omega-3s in it. And I don't even taste that. I know it tastes like something, but anyway, that's the, that's the baby right there. I bought this Ninja last year and I'm telling you, oh, there's my troll. And then I'm, this thing has got the juice, man. It's truly a Ninja. It usually takes about 30 to 40 seconds. So that's it. It's done. You know, if somebody would have told you, a long time ago that you could have anything you want for lunch, especially a milkshake, and you could do it every day of your life when you want to do it. I'm not even selling this stuff, but it's good. So there you go. On to the next phase. Again, so that's my workout. That's that's my basically part of my routine. And I'm trying to do it three times a week. And the shakes, again, everything. I'm starting to get back into shape, feeling pretty good. And, uh, you know, everything's a choice in life. You can choose to eat all you want to eat and just be fat and sassy and, and have that kind of life. You can smoke, you can drink through the roof, you can do all these things, but moderation's everything as they say. So here's to uh, getting healthy next year. You can do it. And for all my clients that aren't doing their movies, that promise me they do their movies, uh, you need to get with it because you know what? The biggest problem you have is not doing. And the second biggest problem you have is caring what people think about you. Because guess what? Everybody loves you, right? That's why you're so funny. That's why That's why we get along so good, is because you're really good at what you do. So come on, you can do it. Quit caring what people think. Just do it. You've got this. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. That some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. How did this have to happen to me? For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass.